this time again. Damn it. Now I can't do any sports. Well, I guess that's... Shoe is sport. That was too much sports. I sure do hope I can talk about a chill game, damn it, every time. Yo, everybody, my name is Caspian. and you ever want to play soccer with four Yoshis against four Toads? Because in Mario Strikers Battle League, you can. Although, considering I live here, it's actually called Mario Strikers Battle League Football. The best thing. We're going to go with Mario Strikers Battle League. We haven't actually gotten a Mario Strikers game since 2007 with the Wii game Mario Strikers Charge, which is, well, quite a while. But this year is a new Mario Strikers game. The new one was announced back in February in that month's Direct. And, much like the other Mario Sports games on the Switch, it later released in the summer. And here we are. That's basically all we get to know. I'm actually what we in the business call a Mario Strikers virgin. That is to say, this is my first leap into a Mario Strikers game. The game opens with a, frankly, beautiful opening cutscene. It is super well animated and shows Mario and friends doing sports, the only thing I'm pressing at. It shows off the stage mixing mechanic and hyper strikes, which I'll get back to eventually. After that, we get to the main menu. Now, as stated, I am a Mario Strikers virgin, so I'm going to need to learn how to play the game if I want to make a video on it. Let's call up a personal trainer. So as it turns out, nobody actually specializes in Mario Strikers Battle League. I guess I could use the in-game tutorials? Uh, the tutorial is very, very long. There's one tutorial for each mechanic, which I simply don't understand. Why not have all of them be in one? The only justification for it is that some is simple and some is more advanced. So just split them up into two tutorials. It's that simple. Or if you want players to skip certain sections because you already know it, just have a skip the next section button. It's a minor thing, sure, but to me it's annoying and could be solved easily. By the time I finished the tutorial, I had aged five years and I looked like this. That sure was an improvement, but now I'm back to looking like this because it wasn't. After that, we can either play singular matches or cups. Let's hop into a single match for now. And, oh god, no, not again! Nintendo needs to stop doing this. The character selection is pitiful. Only the mainstay is, which sounds fine, no filler characters, but that's what makes Mario Sports games fun. Give me Dry Bones, Petey Piranha, f***ing Tatanga for all I care. And even excluding those lesser known characters. Where's Daisy? Bowser Jr. F***ing Diddy Kong. And just like the other Mario Sports games on Switch, characters are going to be added as free DLC later down the line. And people are just accepting it. You go from stop that Nintendo to yeah sure I'm used to it. And that's not a good thing. Fine, I'll just choose a team consisting of a couple criminals, a dinosaur, and a fungus. It's time for the gameplay. It's soccer. Once again, sports is my specialty, so... You run around and try to get the ball and try to kick it into a goal. And not at me. You can turn it up to make it go faster and harder. This is beneficial if you want to get goals as they're harder to catch, because no duh. After you choose your team, you also choose what kind of stage your side of the playfield has. They have no differences beyond aesthetics. I think it would be cool if they changed beyond that. It would be quite different from the core game though, so it's understandable. There are also power-ups. Banana peels, shells of the green and red variety, exploding devices, and stars. They all do what you'd expect, however. I'd like more unique choices. Mario Kart has some great unique power-ups you wouldn't always expect, like the thundercloud in Mario Kart Wii, or even just lightning making everyone small. It'd be cool to see more of these kinds of power-ups instead of the bog-standard ones. There are also hypersticks. These are some super duper epic cool kicks that always hit the goalie. This doesn't always mean it'll go into the goal though. If your goalie gets hit, you commit button assault and hope you're good enough to get the ball away from Boom Boom. They also count as two goals for some reason, which is weird considering they always hit the goalie, but oh well. When one of these balls, not these balls, these balls up here, you can go grab it and commit ball related crimes by kicking it very hard. All the animations are unique for each character and look absolutely gorgeous. Though, you're not allowed to hold the ball last time I checked, Bowser. And while I don't think it's stated in the rules, shooting it to space or eating it just to poop it out as an egg also is not allowed. But it's fine, because when they kick it, or throw it I guess, it goes into this beautiful cell-shaded art style, which I believe is a staple for the series. 
The animations are absolutely gorgeous. Getting a goal starts an animation, either a celebration from whoever got the goal or an anti-celebration from the enemy team. Look at Donkey Kong Dance. Sure, it's a bit framey, but it's also very cool. Look at Wario eat a giant bulb of garlic or Peach about to curse the other team out. The victory animations are also sick, as long as you don't think about where the vines come from. Tackling animations are also pretty unique at times, like Yoshi using his tongue or Bowser crawling into his shell. The pure force that tackles have is so high it makes me laugh. It's actually really satisfying. After doing this first night, I think I'm perfectly fit for the Pro League, so let's go over all the cups. There's 6 cups in total, with the last one being unlockable, so let's assemble a team that's fit to beat everyone else. After a lot of deliberation, we have our team. I call it Team Villains and Yoshi. Sure, you may say that Donkey Kong isn't a villain, but have you played Mind Your Language on the DS? Yeah, me neither. And we start the Cannon Cup, and the cups are essentially just tournaments. Beat the other team to go up in the brackets, and if you lose, you get into the loser's bracket. You still win though if you lose once, because... Sure. After winning the tournaments, you get gold. And what do you do with it? Help the economy. Yes, you can buy gear and upgrade the characters. Do you think Rosalina is too slow? Buy her a speed upgrade. You can buy a helmet, torso, gloves, and boots. They all cost 100 gold each, so only after a couple of tournaments you can get a full team full of geared up friends. It's a neato system, and thankfully, there are no microtransactions. They better not do that. I'll be furious. But I have now finally beaten all of the cups, with one exception, the final one. I feel the need to gather a band of boys to ball with, and for that, I called the Meyer Strikers Battle League Agency since I got banned from Mold last year. I have to call these guys instead, so, yeah. Luckily, they've existed back since 2016, back when the game didn't do the whole existence thing. Season uh, desist. Nice, you wanna play Mario Strikers? Sure. Uh, are you the guy playing Mario Strikers Battle League? Oh, hey Chase, uh, yeah, I am the guy uh, you're playing Mario Strikers Battle League with. Don't call me by my first name. Mr. Berg? Nope, still incorrect. Should I say your full name? That's Mr. Sports to you. No. Yeah. Cool. All right, it's time for the tournament. We need to get prepared. Do you know what that means? No. no. One eternity later. Hey, um, why are you wearing that? It's summer and we're inside. <laughs> and you're wearing the exact same. Why? I'm all excited to be balling. All right, so here we are, the final cup of the game. We're going with the tried and true team of team villains and Yoshi. This time, we're the warriors and green because swords are very cool. Our first match is against the crowns. I hate the monarchy! After a long and grueling four minute match, the score is 3 3, so we have to go into sudden death. Donkey Kong blasts a hyper strike directly at Boom Boom, but sadly, Boom Boom catches it. Donkey Kong has to illegally spike the ball like he's playing volleyball or something once more before warriors, also known as us, win. Next match is us versus the hearts. It's a close match, but due to Wallabee's insane ball kicking skills, we close it out on top with a score of 2 to 1. And lastly, we fight one of the losers, our old rivals, the Crowns. Get it out. I hate the monarchy! It's a slow start. Passes out. Hyper strikes get blocked, and Peach gets knocked to the ground. Eventually, Rosalina uses Space Prince's powers to score a goal after three minutes. No fair, she has magic, what do we have? Okay, sure, we have two dinosaurs, but shut up. Only like 30 seconds later, Wallaby uses sex power to score a hyper strike and put us in the lead. One more minute of this, and the championship is ours. We've done it. The masters of beating up normal CPUs and Mario Strikers. After that, we get told that there are six more cups that are harder difficulties, so let's give that a try. Well, that is a lot harder than expected. Sure, we can win one or two, but winning the entire tournament is a lot of work, which I'm not willing to do right now. Great, now I know when to play with. I can play with you. So yeah, I played some single rounds with Sam as well, and it's pretty swell. It's a lot of fun to fight each other and play on the same team. This game is massively fun, both single player and multiplayer. Much better than all the other Mario Sports games on Switch. Due to being more complicated than something like Smash or Mario Kart, I don't see myself playing this as much as these when it comes to being a multiplayer game. But playing it alone and beating the harder cups eventually is something I could see myself doing. I did forget to play the online though, so I guess I should talk about that.